from your downward facing dog. You can drop both knees to the mat and just step your right foot on the outside of your right hand coming into this lizard pose. You can stay here up on your hands or you can drop down to your forearms taking a little deeper in that hip. You can even curl that right foot onto the outside edge, that pinky edge, so the hip can just open up a little bit more. If that's accessible, you can also reach your right arm around back, grab that left ankle shin. You can lasso with a strap, just getting a quad stretch, just taking a little bit of a back bend, shoulder blades coming down the back. And then we'll shift forward, move into half pigeon, walking that right foot to that left side of the mat, dropping your right knee to the right side. Hip shift back, crown of the head reaches forward. And if that's a little tight on the knees, then you can just bring that back knee up, bend in both knees, and just fold right over that front shin, front foot. Try and get your hips as much as possible, just be squared towards the mat, facing the mat, closed hips. Lengthening your exhales and just sending it to that sensation you feel in that glute area. Might feel in your hamstrings, but just letting that exhale, do little body scans, working to release that tension. You can stay here or you can come into double pigeon, which is crossing that left ankle right on top of the right knee so that left foot is actually going to hang off the outside of that right leg trying to get the thighs essentially to be parallel for one another get a nice tall spine grounded in the hips and then just exhale fold forward and it's alright if that top knee hovers a little bit you can place a block under there pill any bolster and just send the exhales all the way into their mat If that's not intense enough, you can shift your knees to be stacked on top of each other, taking cow face. Nice tall spine and just exhale and folding forward again and bringing the feet away from the hips, so almost to their straight line across. And even if we're still in the half pigeon or modified half pigeon, just still deep exhales, trying to relax as much as possible so we can get deep into that connective tissue in those legs. Whether we just ran, did more yoga, we're sitting in the office all day, these are just great hip openers. Stretch the outer hips. Preferably again three to eight minutes so you can pause the video at any time. Now we can start to come out of that, extend the right leg straight forward, tuck that left knee in, just take a half splits here, almost like a hurdle or stretch. And if that's not intense, you can move to full splits, stretching that left leg back, hips nice and square, tall spine. Wherever you are, just breathing into it. And then we can start to come out of it. Keep that left knee tucked in. You get a foot out to the side or flat on top of the foot with the mat. And just start to lean back on your forearms or all the way onto the mat. Coming into this little half saddle. Stretching the quad. Depending on where you put your foot, be half saddle, half hero. And then we'll get the other side. You can swing the legs back, take a down dog, pedal the knees out, and then we'll step that opposite foot up, left foot on the outside of the left hand, peel out on that pink edge of the foot, get into that lizard pose. And at any time, you can pause the video, just allow yourself to get deeper in the stretch, really feel it out in your body. The exhales will let that 
it's really sink in so you can connect it into your body. Reach that arm around back, grab that ankle, taking the quad stretch if it's accessible. You can grab a strap, towel, sock, whatever you need to do, shirt, lasso that leg, get a few breaths there. And then walking that left foot to the right side of the mat, coming to your half pigeon. Or if you want to modify, you can tuck the knees up. But if you want to try that regular half pigeon, just getting hips nice and squared, inner thigh rotation with that back leg. And just working it, even the hips up. It's definitely challenging to stay here in these yin poses, but a few minutes a day is definitely worth it keep healthy hips or in closed hip positions so many times throughout the day driving sitting in the office walking around so much needed recovery especially after lifting doing athletic type of movements workouts now any given day you could take any type of modification If you're ready to come into double pigeon, stacking that right ankle or opposite ankle on top of the opposite knee. Nice tall spine, ground in the hips. And just exhale, fold forward, send the hips back. And just whatever thoughts that come across your head, just be a witness to them and just let them go. Try to have a little attachment to them. If it's not serving you in this current moment, just let it go. If it's important, it'll come back. And if you want to shift your knees a little closer, you can come into that cow face. Also option in cow face if you want to take the arm bind. You can reach that right arm up. Left arm will swing behind you. The low back. Wherever you are, just lengthen the exhales. Maybe you get to cow face and you're like, I want to go out of it. So you can always come back, revert back to double pigeon or just half pigeon. It's your practice. And then everyone coming out of it, swing that left leg, extend it straight forward, half hurdler stretch, get into that left hamstring. If you want to go into full splits, you can go into full splits, extend that right leg straight back. Nice inner thigh rotation with the hip square as much as you can. Just lengthen the crown of the head towards the ceiling as much as you can or towards the top of your mat. Then you can exhale, come out of that, taking that quad stretch. You can have the right foot extended to the right edge of the mat or just tucked on the top of the foot. Start to lean back on your forearms or all the way back, flat on the mats. You can have blocks underneath your low back. And just sending the exhale all the way to the feet. And then we can untuck the toes, take a happy baby, hands grab the outside of the feet, arms pressing on the inside of the knees as that low tailbone is just trying to ground into the earth. Taking a few rocks side to side, you can stretch the legs, taking a wide leg straddle, 
and then we'll rock it up to a butterfly feet together you can have the feet and the heels close to you or you can extend them straight a little bit further into like a more diamond position that allows to get it a little bit deeper in that forward fold and then coming out of that taking a reverse tabletop playing the heels down hips lifting up hands playing a few inches behind the hips and then you can exhale out of that namaste hope you guys feel better much love see you again next week